Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's video is going to be wildlife safety. And I know I mentioned this like in other videos. I didn't go too much into detail, but I did go in more. I'm going in more depth in, in this video. So if you see me looking down, I have my notes written down for my wildlife safety tips, tricks, things that help me with my dog, keeping my pet safe and stuff like that. So, number one, if you live in the country or you're going camping somewhere, always make sure you're prepared because you never know what's going to happen. Like if you're going in bear country, be aware of surroundings of anything. If you're going to be camping with cougars, which there will be in bear country as well, just not as many. Um, but yeah. Number one. Keep your space clean. And this means, um, right when you're done making a meal, like dinner or something, you need to wash your dishes because bears can smell it, coyotes can smell it, mountain lions can smell it from a long distance. So, especially coyotes is the one you need to worry about, and mountain lions, because they have really good sense of smells. Um, number three, number two, N under any circumstances, under any circumstances you do not feed wildlife doesn't matter if it's a deer raccoon or even a possum it can attract bigger problems like a mountain lion or a coyote or even if it's a deer don't feed the wildlife i don't that's a big rule at our house is we don't feed wildlife um Number three is food storage bins, like if you're at Yellowstone National Park or at a park where there are bears, sometimes they'll have like the food storage bins, or like in the TV shows and movies, they tie it up to a high tree, you can do that, but have it in like a no bear smell, because like our smells attract wild animals like bears. So make sure it's in a non-scented container with your food. Um, number four, bring bear spray, pepper spray, or an alarm if you do not know how to use a gun. And I've used an alarm in a couple cougar encounters. One encounter, I my neighbor brought all his chickens inside and... I freaked out because I can hardly see as it is. My dogs are getting in self-defense mode, so what I do is I start backing away slowly, and I pull the alarm, I pick my dog up, you have to do that without bending or pulling, but yeah. You never turn your back on any wildlife, but you still you still gotta sit there and stand your ground. This is specifically if you encounter number five is it if you encounter a coyote or a mountain lion. Yes, Oliver. I have my kitty right next to me. Yes, you handsome boy. Sorry, I'm just petting my kitten. He's a new addition to the family. I will do a separate video on him another time but this is if you see a coyote or a mountain lion um clear things up mountain lion cougar bobcat same cat it's all the same cat family um number one is don't turn your back and run because that'll cause your chase instinct and it'll run right it's like turning your back you never want to turn your back on a mountain lion just because of that reason it will cause they will make you they will think that you are a prey and not anything else so don't run from the mountain lion number two 
standard ground and don't look the mountain lion in the eye but also make sure the mountain lion knows that you're there it's your territory you're not prey you're there and you're big and scary and you can scare off a mountain lion pretty easily um and if necessary, I was in a situation the other night when I went to go put my neighbor's chickens up for the night. And I was in a situation where I heard something in the bushes, but I'm thinking, well, I just saw deer, so it must be a deer here. And, but in my, in the back of my brain, I'm, I had to scream back away slowly and waved my hands and I backed away slowly and I screamed for like five minutes till I got to our property front because I can hardly see out of zoos and it's and it's already the sun's going down for the night I want to be able to make sure that it's a deer and not a mountain lion Number five, if you're going camping or live in the country or even RVing or if you're camping in a cabin, I highly recommend you bring a motion detector light. My sister has one up at her gear. We don't have one down here, which we need to get one, um, but she has one up at the year. And um, so basically it's, it's like a coyote, mountain lion, bobcat, whatever gets out in her yard it'll scare the animal away hopefully number six if you're camping you would want to bring six gallons of water um any type of water gallons you prefer it works but if you live in the country i would highly recommend using well water because that's what we use Number seven, pee pads. And I know I mentioned pee pads a lot on my channel. And yes, my service dog is fully potty trained. Doesn't matter how fully potty trained she is. I keep her in at dusk, dawn, and twilight. Doesn't matter. She's in at those hours. And she knows if she has to use the bathroom, she can go on the pads. She's potty trained to go on the pads. So she knows to go on the potty pads. Um... Number eight, fairy lights. As you can see, I have fairy lights right behind me, and I keep those up there because I love my unicorn fairy lights, but I also keep them up there so, like, my lamp light can be off, and I can have my, I can still see to, like, crawl into bed and stuff. Number eight, laundry. Depending how long you're going to be gone when camping, Highly recommend bringing a rope and tying it to different trees to um, hang hang stuff up. Like if you went swimming, you can hang your bathing suit up. Uh, number 10, the, how to use bear spray. This is very important if you do not know how to use a gun, to use bear spray. Because I was in a situation that I mentioned not that long ago in this video that I was in a cougar encounter where I had to use bear spray. But instead I accidentally used, I accidentally bear sprayed myself. And it's very important. So what you do is you take the safety cap off and you pull the trigger and it'll go over the either mountain lion or um, bear, whatever situa situation you're in. And number 10 is the use of pepper spray and this is also important because it's very similar to bear spray. You take, there's, a, there's not really like a safety cap to it but you can lift up the, the, the thing and you press the trigger just like with bear spray.
number 12 investments um when camping or living in the country i highly recommend um Like, we have chickens, and the best thing for chickens is they make a lot of noise, so basically just make a lot of noise in any situation that you need to is number 12. Thirteen, pull an alarm, just like I mentioned in that one encounter I had to do. Pull an alarm, and it should scare away any unwanted wildlife. Number 14, um, is, this goes up with clean your space, but please secure your trash and make sure your trash is secured. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next week's video. Bye, guys.